A Seminole ROTC teacher was arrested, accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. All new at 5, what we learned when we dug into his background. Tonight, his attorney tells us he is a decorated Marine veteran. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sagalski. The district says he's worked at Lake Hal High School for a couple of years. Channel 9's Jeff Love Coolidge is live outside Lake Hal right now. And Jeff, you've been working all day to find out more about this teacher. And Martha, the school district says that ROTC instructor Brian Teat has only worked here at Lake Hell High School since 2015. They say he's had no incidents in his personnel file until his arrest last night. Investigators with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office say the relationship between ROTC instructor Brian Tate and the teenage victim started out earlier this month. According to the arrest report, the victim told investigators their personal conversations eventually led to kissing, touching, and sexual activity. There's no allegation that any of the illegal activity happened at school. According to the victim, the pair met on two occasions at a relative of the student's home and had sex. According to the Seminole County Public Schools, Teat has worked at Lake Howe High School since August of 2015 in the ROTC program. According to his bio page with the Navy Junior ROTC website, Teat retired from the Marine Corps in 2011 and first worked at Apopka High School in the ROTC program there until 2015. In a statement, Teat's attorney, Richard Hornsby, told me, quote, Mr. Teat is a decorated veteran with an impeccable record of service to his country and this state. I will work expeditiously to defend him against the charges in this case and bring the case to a successful conclusion. Authorities with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office told me there is a line that teachers are not supposed to cross. Anytime someone is in a position of trust, uh, especially with our children, especially with a minor. Uh, that's very disappointing when that happens. And as a result, he's now facing some very serious criminal charges. Now, Tita's bonded out of jail, but he has been placed on leave from the Seminole County School District pending the outcome of the investigation. Reporting live in Seminole County, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.